Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll be talking about some good old-fashioned ear hair. If you've ever wanted some ear hair content, today is indeed your lucky day. So, to trim or not to trim, that is the question. And which part is safe to trim? Hmm. So many questions indeed, but before we break out the scissors, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. You can trim the tips of the ear furnishings, but not the ear tufts. These prevent dirt and debris from entering the ear canal, assist with balance, and redirect sound. Cat's ear hair should rarely be cut, but you can trim excess ear hair furnishings with blunt scissors. So, we have tufts and we have furnishings. You can trim the furnishings, but the tufts should be off limits. Okay, but which ones are which? The ear hair, the thick hair within the ear, that is what's off limits. The little thin hair around the ears, near the point of the ears, you can trim that up a bit. It's best not to get too caught up in definitions. Just remember this one rule. If the hair is inside the ear, especially deep inside the ear, that's a no-go. Anything around the edge, near the point of the ear, you can give that a go if you'd like. And speaking of giving things a go, hey, we thank you for giving Senior Cat Wellness a go. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new, hello and welcome. If you're joining us for yet another video, welcome back, friend. Videos are nothing at all without viewers, and we value your support, and we do thank you for taking some time out of your day to be a part of ours. Enjoy the content, and we hope to see you again down the road now. Here we go. <laughs> Let's talk about that ear hair. Let's do it. If you follow the basic ground rules that we noted in our introduction, then everything should be just fine. As long as you are safe and responsible, the actual practice of trimming your cat's ear hair is safe. Nothing will go wrong if you do it right. While well, you could say that about a ton of things in life, <laughs> you get the general idea. Just remember, this is a very delicate practice. The last thing you want to do is nick your cat's ears, tidying up those hair furnishings. And just to reiterate the point, stay away from the hair deep within the ear and the ear canal. Your cat needs that hair for protection and proper balance. That hair should only be trimmed by a professional if there is some type of infection, usually mite-related, or the hair itself is causing extreme irritation. Now it's time for a trim. Before you start, it's important to follow some basic guidelines and prepare your tools. Here's what you'll need. Small trimming scissors, a small flea comb, cotton balls, and alcohol-free ear cleaner. Now it's go time. Step number one, comb through the hair with the flea comb. This will break up any wax and or debris. Step two, dampen a cotton ball with your alcohol-free cleaner. Wipe the hair until it's clean and free of any dirt and debris. Wipe out, not in. The very last thing you want is to push wax or debris deeper into the ear. And step three, take your scissors and trim the desired areas. Be slow, be gentle, and be focused. No random and free and easy snips. In respect to a follow-up, that's it. Simply collect the hair and close the book on this day at the salon. And whatever you do, never clean the ear hair or the ear with chemicals. If you are worried that trimmed hair will stay in a forever gone state and that the hair will never grow back, odds are quite strong that every single hair will return to its former glory in some rather short order. It really all depends on the age, breed, and general lifestyle of your cat, however. Conditions such as ear mites, ringworm, and allergies can negatively impact ear hair growth, as well as stress and a strong flea presence. All of these issues, with the possible exception of stress, will require treatment of their own. In an effort to avoid these concerns, make sure that your cat has routine vet checkups, many issues, both minor and major in nature, can be eliminated before they ever begin, simply thanks to proactive measures such as those routine exams. And one more time, avoid trimming hair inside the ear and deep within the ear canal. And what you do trim, go slow. Stay focused and keep a very, very steady hand. Also be mindful of your cat's movements. One quick turn of the head and things can take a negative turn. Depending on the situation and how much you wish to trim, we advise you to have someone gently hold your cat's head steady so you won't run the risk of a negative outcome. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video side of life. However, if you'd like more information concerning feline ear hair trimming, and if you should cut your cat's ear hair, be sure to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. 
There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do invite you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the info. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.